vaccinate close to half a million young newly born babies over the last five months. As we all recall, they had been striked of, uh, of nurses in the last five plus months. So uh, newly born babies in some of these arid, semi-arid counties and in most of the counties have been missing, up, missing out on the vaccination. So with the Ministry of Health, uh, National uh, Headquarters, Dr. Mailu, uh, UNICEF, Kenya Red Cross, uh, AMREF and many other partners have come together to try and catch up and vaccinate the children who did not have vaccination after they were born due to the strike of the nurses. This campaign has been going on almost for a month now. We have one more month to go and we hope by the time this month is over we will have actually vaccinated all these children and catch up with their normal vaccination so that this issue of potential um, you know, risks that they would have gone through maybe of, of, of polio or measles will now be eradicated. So very happy to be here and very happy with the achievement that uh, the NGO, the civil society in this uh, coast region have achieved. And we look forward to the new grant in January and hoping that as a nation will be able to implement that also to an A1 rating. What kind of vaccine are we talking about? We're talking of the, the, the various vaccines that are given to Chanjo that newly born babies are given. And these are the ones that uh, we're saying they were missing. Uh, so now hopefully with, the, with these vaccines, they should be able to uh, be back on normality and get their regular jobs uh, until they're two years or so. Which counties? The counties that we are now, 11 that we've given priorities where we have hired about 30 nurses per county, are uh, 11 in the arid, semi-arid from Turkana to West Pokot to East Pokot to Marsabit. Uh, to Samburu, to Moyale, Mandera, Wajir, Garissa, uh, and Tana River. With the Ministry of Health, we've had to intervene to a lot of health emergencies. The catch-up campaign is an emergency campaign, which uh, if the nurses had not gone on strike, we would never have had to do this campaign. There has been cholera outbreaks in a number of counties since January this year, and this uh, goes to the county management, health management, uh, uh, you know, sanitation, water, and many other things, uh, garbage collection in a number of these counties. We've also talked about uh, some counties that had malaria outbreak uh, a few months, a month and two ago in areas like uh, Baringo, uh, West Pokot, um, uh, Marsabit, were three counties that were affected by increased activities of malaria. Uh, uh, and, and this is, is, is got, that had to do with the rain, so it didn't have to do with anybody. But I'm um, saying um, we need to strengthen our health system to be able to withstand shocks when we get shocks like we've got recently politics and squabbling between the nurses and, I mean, can you No, 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 I mean, I, I can't, I'm not uh, in a position to talk about that. I mean, there were strikes and the strikes had impact uh, on ordinary Kenyans and I'm hoping and praying that in the future, should there be disagreement and if there are uh, uh, disagreement, uh, industrial disagreement, solution will be found quicker than it was found this time. This time it took much longer than normal and there was an impact or effect on ordinary Kenyans and we're hoping and praying that it never happens again.